In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called writing equations of lines parallel and perpendicular to a given line through a point. We're asked to consider the line y equals 7x minus 3 and in part a to find an equation of a line parallel passing through a given point and b find the equation of a line that's perpendicular passing through the same given point. And since I will be considering a slope to be parallel, and a point for each of these examples, I'll need to use the point slope formula that says y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, where x sub 1, y sub 1 is the point and m is the slope. And since the line that we're given as a starting point, y equals 7x minus 3, is in slope intercept form, I can tell that that slope is 7. And then for question a, since I'm writing the equation of a line parallel to that line, my slope must also be 7. And I have the point x1, y1 will be the negative 4, negative 2. And I can substitute into the point slope formula from here and have y minus y sub 1 is a minus 2. So minus a negative 2 would be plus 2 equals m, which we've identified as 7, times x minus x sub 1, which is minus 4. So again, minus a negative 4 would be plus 4. Now that we have the equation, we can simplify by first distributing the 7 on the right-hand side. 7 times x is 7x. 7 times the 4 is 28. And lastly, subtracting 2 from both sides to isolate the y gives us y equals 7x plus a 26. So this is our equation for part a. And then for b, we're told that the line is to be perpendicular to this line. So perpendicular means that our slope here will have to be the inverse reciprocal of 7. So negative 1 over 7 is to be our slope and our point x1, y1 is again negative 4, negative 2. And from here we can once again substitute into the point slope formula at the top. Our equation of the line would be y minus y sub 1, so minus a negative 2 plus 2 equals m negative 1 seventh times x minus x sub 1, which is again minus 4, so minus a negative 4 plus 4. And again, I'll clean this up to simplify by first distributing this negative 1 7th. So y plus 2 equals negative 1 7th times x, and then negative 1 7th times a 4. And then lastly, to isolate the y, I would subtract 2 from each side. I now have the y by itself, a negative 1 7th x. Getting a common denominator here, I could write this as a negative 14 sevenths. That would be the minus 2 I subtracted over. And now having a common denominator, I can combine these terms to a negative 18 sevenths. And this would be the equation of the line. 